When a Drill Academy student hears the name Arcia, they can't help but think of the many accomplishments they have reached over the years. Best student athlete in the school, 4.0 GPAs, and hefty scholarships to some of the best schools in the nation. But as they develop in their college studies, there is one Arcia who seems to be following in the same footsteps as his older siblings. So being the youngest sibling, I always looked up to my brothers. Like I always try to be just like them. I remember when I was a little kid, my oldest brother started playing basketball, and that's when I started playing basketball. Then he, when he left, I started playing football, try to be like my other brother. So I, as a kid, I always just wanted to be just like them, do everything they did. Like They were kind of like my idols. This example to look up to is what eventually brought him to the football field. For my brother Fernando probably introduced me first to football. Like I always used to watch it with him when I was younger. But I didn't start playing it until I was in eighth grade because I had played basketball from when I was four till I was in like summer going into eighth grade. And then I just wanted to try something new. So I started playing football and I liked it and so I stuck with it. When I started playing football in eighth grade, uh, I was just terrible. But uh, it was my first year, so I really didn't have any experience. So, but like, I remember eighth grade year, like, I barely played. I think I got in two games for the whole year. How good am I at football? I'm all right, man. Starting at cornerback for varsity since his sophomore year, he's more than all right. Little known to many, though, is that the 16-year-old junior has maintained a 4.8 weighted GPA throughout high school and has taken rigorous AP classes like AP Human Geography, AP Environmental Science, and this year, AP Calculus and AP Physics, along with others, while juggling dual enrollment classes. So my daily schedule is I wake up around 6 o'clock every day. I get, get ready, eat breakfast, brush my teeth, leave the house by 7, go to class, and then at 12.45, I go to Miami Dade College to take my dual enrollment classes. I come back around 3.15, go to practice. I practice until about 6.30, and then I get home around 7, 7.15, take a shower, do homework, and go back to sleep and repeat. Yeah, I'm, I'm very close with my family. I talk to my brothers probably every day, my sister at least every other day. Um, they keep giving me advice. With family in the back of his mind, Kevin hopes to reach the academic level of his older siblings wherever he attends college. My goal for school is to land somewhere in between my sister and my brothers because my brothers are currently attending the University of Florida and my sisters just got, uh, just moved to Yale. So, um, Yale's a little too high for me, but I think I could do a little bit better than the University of Florida. So, somewhere in between there. Lucky for him, Kevin still has a lot of time to think about his college endeavors, but his time on the football field is limited. So, my goal for my high school football career would have to be uh, having the chance to compete for a state title with my second family, my teammates. I, I think that would be really fun and I, I love to compete. So being the last artist is, is kind of hard because there's a lot of expectations that I have to live up to. A lot of achievements that I, I'm supposed to outdo. So I feel like there's a lot of pressure on me to do good and to be successful. I try to overcome this by working my hardest to succeed in all these and to surpass all these expectations that I have for me. So I just do my best and whatever it, wherever it takes me. Whether Kevin will reach these high set goals is still undetermined, but one thing is for certain. He has a very bright future ahead of him. Signing off from Firewood TV, I'm Perinarius reporting.